It is indeed time to talk tropics. That's why we have our tropical update here on the Weather Channel. And there's a whole lot going on. We have no less than three tropical storms in the Atlantic Basin. A very busy time, of course. We have tropical storm Kyle, tropical storm Lily, which is a minimal tropical storm, but it's uh, still a tropical storm nonetheless and still producing a lot of rainfall even uh, as we speak. Also looking at our, our major story that is closest toward, uh, toward the U.S. interest right now, that is our tropical storm known as Isidore. Look at its current position there. It is, of course, still well south of the Louisiana coast, but still of great concern. It's some 355 miles south of Louisiana coast. Winds sustained at 60, which makes it a pretty potent tropical storm moving on toward the north at 10 miles per hour. Of course, as it set across the Yucatan Peninsula, it just sat there and dumped incredible amounts of rain for several days. Also very common, we see a tropical system interacting with land that it starts to kind of lose it a bit. It's a bit ragged. You often see a rapid decrease in the tropical system itself. That, of course, was the case with Isidore. Now that it's back over open ocean water, it's got a fairly favorable environment to get back together and become a bit stronger. Right on not doing that. It's center of circulation really kind of sprawled out. Not a, a big, big concern right now that it may really super intensify. It's still a concern enough from the heavy rain and the wind that will be accompanying it, but it doesn't look like it has enough time, literally, to kind of pull it together and really spin into like a major hurricane. That doesn't appear to be in the cards. Very sprawled out area of low pressure. Center circulation again, kind of a tough to find, kind of sprawled out for sure. Still some rain continues across the Yucatan, but in the overall circulation, a lot of moisture already flowing into parts of Florida, as well as Louisiana, and elsewhere across the southeast. Something else. We talk about fronts being lifters. Fronts work as a focusing mechanism for the wettest of weather. That's indeed the case across the southeast. You've got a combination of a stationary front plus moisture moving into it. So it does kind of hit the wall there, kind of hits that focusing mechanism, works to accentuate the wetter weather across the southeast. That is indeed the case on into our Wednesday. You kind of have a sprawled out area below pressure, but still tropical storm forest winds are a possibility. Cabo Cotochi on in toward Campeche, Mexico. Those areas could encounter tropical storm forest winds just a little bit longer. There is a chance of that. Then High Island, Texas, on toward Destin, Florida. Anywhere in this region, you might encounter some tropical storm forest winds in the short term. Now, it's a strong tropical storm. There is at least a chance that it may become a hurricane prior to landfall. It's going to have to kind of pull things together to become more intense. May see some slight strengthening. It's going to need to increase its intensity just a bit, become a little better organized of a system to become a hurricane. That is a possibility. If that happens, these areas should be the most prepared spots right now. Pascagoula, Mississippi, on toward Cameron, Louisiana. Anywhere in there, we have our hurricane watches in effect. That means that basically, in about 30, 36 hours or so, within 36 hours, you might see hurricane force winds approaching you. Again, that is a possibility, so just be prepared. The bottom line is we're going to see a lot of heavy rain, main thing. Some gusty winds and, of course, heavy rain. Already some moisture across parts of Alabama, like Birmingham, intermittently around Atlanta. Uh, Columbus, Georgia, on across, uh, say, Montgomery on the state capitol, very wet, even toward Op and throughout the Florida Panhandle, Pensacola, around that Destin, to some rainfall right now, on toward Biloxi, those areas there around the casinos and whatnot, even on toward Gulfport, beautiful area there in Mississippi, a little wet, wet in toward New Orleans, around Slide L, too. And any place in you, where you encounter flooding concerns, you often see flooding when you see heavy rain, you need to have a heads up here, especially parts of Florida, but right there in Louisiana, still. Many areas are quite low, I mean, so you know that. So anytime you see flooding in those areas, uh, if you live in a flood-prone area, just be prepared. Flood watches remain across a big chunk of the southeast. As it approaches and pushes ashore, it should begin to accelerate and push on, but could be a, an incredible rain producer. That's in, indeed the deal there. Could be an incredible rain producer. Still kind of a sprawled-out area of low pressure. We have another system that has weakened dramatically in the short term. That's good news, at least. That's our tropical storm known as Lily. Some 335 miles south southeast of Santa Domingo. Wind sustained at 40, moving on toward the west around 10. Again, it has dramatically decreased. Really tough, actually, as the hurricane hunters went into that, they even find a center of circulation. May have sprawled out a bit, become a little more of a wave-type system. Still, though, some tropical storm watches are in effect, parts of the Dominican Republic and into Haiti. But just don't expect much from the system in the short term. It may get move on to parts of Cuba. Might intensify that is a possibility. We have a tropical storm, Kyle, that might become a hurricane, but shouldn't pose a threat right now. Short term, it should begin weakening. More details on this next. If you're between the ages of 40 and 85, call 1-800-742-6666 now to find out more about the Guarantee Reserve Platinum Care Plan. 
The Platinum Care Plan makes it easy to plan ahead. The average funeral now costs over $6,000, and many can cost up to $10,000 or more. But did you know your survivors may only be able to receive government death benefits up to $300, if they qualify, leaving your loved ones to pay the balance. The Platinum Care Plan helps your loved ones. It will help with funeral and any other expenses. You must be age 40 to 85 to qualify. Thanks for joining us on the Tropical Update here on First Outlook, and we're continuing to keep our eyes on Tropical Storm Isidore. With a very big area of circulation, we're already seeing rain bands move into the southeastern United States, heavy and possibly flooding rains, also flooding rains on top of already saturated ground back down into Mexico, where 300,000 people have been left homeless by Isidore. Isidore, with 60 miles an hour, in the center, 60 mile an hour winds in the center, not expected to strengthen a whole lot in the next 24 hours, though it could reach hurricane strength before it makes landfall sometime late tonight, overnight, or into tomorrow morning. It's moving toward the north at 13 miles an hour, and the center of Isidore, located about 355 miles south of New Orleans. A little closer view of Isidore, still showing the rain moving over the uh, Bay of Campeche and into the Yucatan Peninsula northward, and we're also anticipating tropical storm force winds here within the next 24 hours. So tropical storm warnings have been issued from High Island, Texas, all the way to Destin, Florida, and including portions of the Yucatan coastline. Hurricane watches in effect because we could see some isolated areas of hurricane force winds as Isidore moves on shore. Here's the projected path, and we expect to see it take this path over portions of uh, um, Louisiana, up toward Mississippi, and eventually bring a lot of heavy rain to, to much of the southeast and even perhaps into uh, the mid-Atlantic coastline. We'll continue to watch a few other storms. This is Tropical Storm Kyle, another one lily down toward the Caribbean. Now, Kyle could actually strengthen into a hurricane. It's 65 mile an hour winds right now are nearing hurricane strength, but it's still a storm moving toward the west at 14 miles an hour, but we don't anticipate any uh, land effects from Kyle at the present time. We're watching Lily move across the Lesser Antilles, and as it has done so, it's produced a lot of rain and wind in those areas, and also left a few people homeless. 40 mile an hour winds in the center, it's so, it seems to be weakening somewhat here, and the circulation not quite as organized as it has been, but its path does take it up toward Cuba here by the time we get into the weekend. Well, that's the way the tropics are looking right now. Let's look now into the southeastern United States and see the problems there. Cheryl? And we do have some serious problems going on, all in response to Tropical Storm Isidore. Right now, Isidore is still packing quite a punch, and it's continuing to produce some very gusty winds and some heavy surf, and really some uh, locally heavy rains, too, pelting the Gulf Coastal region. And we have flash flood watches that continue from Louisiana through parts of Mississippi, Alabama, and also including northern parts of Florida. We've also seen some locally heavy rains, too, inundating this area. And now, most recently, some severe weather developing over parts of southern Louisiana, right around the city of Empire, a possible tornado. So a tornado warning out right now for Plaquemine Parish in Louisiana. And speaking of Empire, Louisiana, we'll be having some live reports there coming up in about seven minutes or so at the top of the hour, so stay tuned for that. Again, we have a tornado watch in effect for parts of the south, including New Orleans, and extending just to the west of Panama City. Throughout the day today, more locally heavy rain spreading up across the southeast, so do watch out for some serious flooding there. Elsewhere, though, just some spotty showers across the heartland. Nick? The story of Isidore is constantly changing, and you need the next hour of First Outlook to stay on top of it all. At 6.01, we'll begin live reports from coastal Louisiana. You'll want to check in to actually see what's happening in that region. At 6.10, travel analyst Dennis Smith will be here. The effects of Isidore will cover a large area of the southeast, so if you're traveling anywhere in the region, you'll need to help work through those potential delays, and Dennis will help us do that. At 6.40, a look at the lightning that ripped across Minneapolis. 
and the latest on cool weather across the north. And here's your forecast for Atlanta. We're gearing up for a very wet Wednesday. Steady rains for a good part of the afternoon. Some of the rain could be locally heavy. To find an agent near you, contact 1-800-ALLSTATE or visit our website at allstate.com. Spend less time getting there and more time being there. The islands of the Bahamas. Save up to $150 on your Bahamas getaway small treasures properties called Destination Bahamas at 800 Bahamas. Islands of the Bahamas. It just keeps getting better. And it's accelerating slowly, about 13 miles per hour now. Let's get the latest information from the Hurricane Center. Winds still 60 miles per hour, primarily in bands of heavy rain well removed from the center. So on this system, you definitely don't want to concentrate too much on the circulation center. Pressure is 990 millibars. Tropical storm warnings extend all the way from High Island, Texas, and it's been extended to St. Mark's, Florida. And by the way, they've been dropped over the Yucatan Peninsula now. And that's because the wind swath area is very large. But the winds that are on the Texas side are going to be coming offshore, and that's not going to be a big issue. We're going to have some high surf here, but that's going to be from swell coming from the southeast. All of the action is going to be at and east of the center in heavy rain bands and very high surf coming in as well. Now let's look at the latest uh, radar. You can see the rain bands coming into just outside of the New Orleans area and some of it's coming over the greater New Orleans area. But the heaviest rain is basically over western Florida Panhandle, Mississippi and Alabama right now. And of course there's a tornado watch out so there is a possibility for severe weather. And we're watching Tropical Storm Lily as well. Winds 45 miles per hour. It's moving to the west-northwest at 12. Hurricane hunters are out there monitoring that feature as well. You can see it, the circulation center is off here to the southwest of the center, so it remains poorly organized. But the rain bands in here are producing some pretty strong winds. Luckily, they're still south of Puerto Rico. But they may catch the southern coast of Hispaniola, and because of that, there is a watch up for that area, a Tropical Storm Watch. Now we expect the system to continue to move to the west, west-northwest, then take a little more turn toward the northwest. Now, it could take two paths, more northwesterly or more west-northwest, depending on whether or not it gets caught up in the wake of Isidore. And so right now, we're sort of right in between the two paths on this swath. We'll continue to update you. But those of you in South Florida should be monitoring carefully. We could actually see another landfall in Cuba of a tropical storm. Tropical Storm Kyle's out in the central Atlantic, winds 70 miles per hour. It's moving to the south, west-southwest at about 8 miles per hour. It was drifting southwest. You can see the circulation center is well-defined. It's only 5 miles per hour shy of a hurricane. And those of you in Bermuda need to monitor this, and anybody, of course, in the high seas as well. Now, we have a new tropical depression in the eastern Pacific. That's 13. Winds are 35 miles per hour. Currently, it's meandering or moving very slowly to the north. Pressure's 1,003 millibars. There's a circulation center right there. The danger with this one, of course, is it's not moving quickly. It's close to the coast, and it could bring some heavy rain along the coast as it draws a little bit closer over the next 24 to 30 hours. And, of course, we expect it to become a tropical storm by that time as well. So if you're Acapulco, northward about 200 miles, watch for the danger for heavy rain and increasing surf along the coast. Well, that's it for the tropical update. Let's get some more tropical weather with Cheryl. And of course, the main game in town continues to be Tropical Storm Isidore churning up the waters across the Gulf. Again, we're seeing some choppy waters and rough seas. Gusty winds, too, right along the coast. At times, we've had some wind gusts around 35 to 40 miles per hour. And of course, the heavy tropical downpours coming down without any let up. It's still raining very hard from Mobile and Gulfport back through Pascagoula. And the rain continues to pick up, too, across northern Georgia and across eastern Tennessee. With so much rain coming down, we've had numerous flash flood watches and warnings effect, and they will remain in effect through tonight. 
Now, also of note, we have to watch out for the possibility of severe weather. Oftentimes, when tropical systems work their way closer to coast, they can spawn and spin off little tornadoes. So that's something that we're going to be really watchful later today. A tornado watch continues from New Orleans and extending eastward over towards the Florida panhandle. And besides the southeast, we also have concerns for some heavier thunderstorms, too, for parts of the upper plain states. We have a sharp cold front diving through this area. It may set off some heavier thunderstorms a little bit later. We do have some scattered showers and storms, though, right now for Minneapolis and St. Paul and St. Cloud. A few thunder showers back over towards Norfolk, Nebraska, and more rain sliding over towards Mason City, Iowa. So again today, the storms increase across the heartland. And again, very heavy tropical downpours pounding the southeast. Again, Tropical Storm Isidore drawing closer. We'll have more updates on Isidore coming up in just a moment. Bahamas. Save up to $150 on your Bahamas getaway and ask about our small treasures properties. Call Destination Bahamas at 800 Bahamas. The Islands of the Bahamas. It just keeps getting better. Born free, as free as the wind blows. As free as Finally, someone else is making meat sauce the same way you make yours. With half a pound of meat. New ragu rich and meaty. We're made to go into water. Ordinary bandages weren't. I see a conflict. Band-Aid brand introduces water block finger wraps, the first water-resistant bandage designed just for fingers. Unlike ordinary bandages, new water block finger wraps from Band-Aid brand have a clever tempered shape. They wrap around securely, so even after repeated hand washings, they stay stuck on you. New water block finger wraps from Band-Aid, the better healing brand. Underneath a woman who walks the dog, runs the house, and races to work is a woman who's discovered new Caress shimmering body wash. She enjoys looking lustrous, relishes how her skin simply glows, and loves... Back to the tropical update. It's time to get the latest on what's going on in the tropics with Isidore, Lily, and Kyle. And for the latest, we go to our hurricane expert, Dr. Steve Lyons. Thanks, Christine. And we even have a tr new tropical storm in the eastern Pacific called Julio. Let's start with Isidore in the Gulf of Mexico, and it is still a strong tropical storm and nearing the Gulf Coast near the mouth of the Mississippi. Winds 65 miles per hour. Movement the last six hours north-northwest at 12 miles per hour. Pressure 989 millibars. The hurricane hunters are out there. Now, the center's out here still in relatively clear air. There's a lot of thunderstorms trying to develop near the circulation, but uh, right now not not uh, able to do so and so it, it it continues to remain a tropical storm as it nears the coast now a couple of things that we're most concerned about tonight the heavy rain associated with it primarily at and to the east of the circulation center and number two very high surf coming in around the, the uh, southeast and south side of the circulation and it's already about 15 feet out there and about ready to become 20 to 22 feet over the next six hours so very high surf beach erosion and, of course, with the onshore flow near landfall, which should be within the next six to ten hours, we're going to have some water rise associated with the wind onshore, plus wave setup. That's a water rise associated with the large breaking waves, so we could see some water rises above the normal astronomical tides of five to seven feet in this area, three to four feet in the other areas. And, of course, there's a large circulation. So the wave action well away from the center is producing one to two, even two to three foot water rises along the coastline. In addition to the very heavy rain that, by the way, has been uh, associated with the areas of New Orleans and also over here in the western Florida panhandle, we're also seeing some severe weather as well. And Dr. Forbes will be delineating some of that severe weather for you in the form of tornado watch, uh, watch box out there. In the meantime, there's a large area that has flood warnings out right now for the heavy rain. Now, we also have another tropical storm. That's Tropical Storm Lily, and it's in the Caribbean Sea, moving to the west-northwest at 7. Winds 45 miles per hour. We look on the satellite imagery. It remains rather disorganized. The center is off to the southwest of the main core of thunderstorms. That's good news. It's not showing any signs of developing more, but we think it will become a little bit better organized over the future, and that's why tropical storm watches are up along the south coast of the Dominican Republic and Jamaica. And through time, it's going to follow on this 
coattails of our Isidore. As it, Isidore moves to the north, it'll leave a trough behind and pull this system in behind it. So those of you over Cuba, the Bahamas, and the southeastern United States should monitor carefully over the next several days. The 72-hour pos position puts it basically over southeast Florida. We have Hurricane Kyle out in the central Atlantic, 75 miles per hour. It's spinning around out there all by itself, and we hope it stays that way. We don't expect it to move very much over the next 72 hours, a marine hazard only. Eastern Pacific, new tropical storm Julio. It will be short-lived, we think. Winds 40 miles per hour, moving to the north at 9, and you can see relative to the position, it'll be short-lived because it's right near the coast. But this could come on the coast and fester a little bit, produce significant rainfall and mudslides. So the potential for flooding and mudslides is high for that system, so be careful down there if you're heading that way. Let's get back to Christina now. All right, thanks a lot, Dr. Lyons. And as Dr. Lyons mentioned, we do have a tornado watch that's in effect here along uh, the parts of the Gulf Coast from New Orleans over toward Panama City. And we actually have a tornado warning that has just been issued in Florida for Western Bay County and Southern Walton County. This does include uh, Santa Rosa Beach. Let's take a little closer view of what we're watching here and uh, we'll skew a little farther to the east. And what we're watching is this area here around Panama City and over toward Walton County. Uh, we have had National Weather Service Doppler radar indicating a couple of developing tornadoes, one five miles southeast of Santa Rosa Beach and another five miles northwest of Panama City Beach moving northwest. So look out in West Bay and Santa Rosa Beach. You want to take cover immediately. Tornado warnings are in effect. Bay Martins and Suites. Worth checking into. Rex and the beige carpet. Now, whatever comes in. New Resolve made just for steam machines gets it out. Sooner or later, you'll need Resolve for steam machines. Now there's an easier way to see the world. Just visit Orbit.com. The only travel site featuring The Matrix. The easy way to find the low fares and options you want. Visit Orbit.com today, where finding the most low fares is easy. that goes from vine to jar in just one day. Bertoli pasta sauce. Early Sunday morning, a winter Hi, day. It's breakfast time, they're on their way. They can smell the cinnamon. Nothing brings my family to the table like these grand cinnamon rolls from Pillsbury. They're not just ordinary cinnamon. Said finance 